Hello everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate animated anagrams in PowerPoint. There's various ways that we can do this, so let's get a preview of what we're going to be working on. First off, we have the anagram 11 plus 2. If I rearrange those letters, I can spell 12 plus 1. For those who are fans of the Da Vinci Code, the book, I have a few examples here. We can change O Draconian Devil into Leonardo Da Vinci. O Lame Saint becomes the Mona Lisa. And here we have So Dark, the Con of Man, becomes Madonna of the Rocks. And my kids wanted to introduce you to another one, which would be Tom Riddle can be rearranged to become I Am Lord Voldemort. And this last one is an interesting one because I changed not only the letters, but also the placement of the letters and the color of the font that I'm using. So let's dig in and see how to do this. I'm going to clear away a few of these slides. Let's focus here on 11 plus 2. What I'm going to do, these are just words within a text box. I'm going to duplicate this slide and using the same text box, I want to show you two interactions. First of all, I'm going to put 11 plus 2 equals 2 plus 11. And then I'll go ahead and duplicate that and I'll put 12 plus 1. Now when I apply the morph transition, you can see that they fade in and out. The letters fade out and then they fade in. What I need to do, since these are the same words, I'm going to go up to the effects option and I'm going to put words. So it's morphing between the words. And then for this one, instead of words, I'm going to put letters. I need to change one thing in that if there's a capital letter that becomes lowercase, then the capital letter fades out and the lowercase letter fades in. And so it's important to be mindful of the punctuation. So let's go ahead and preview this. We have our first slide, 11 plus 2. All I did is change the words, 2 plus 11. And here I scrambled around the words. Now I did the same thing with Tom Marvolo Riddle. I duplicated the slide and I made sure that the morph effect was set to characters. Now you'll notice that I can't capitalize Tom, Marvolo, or Riddle because then I have a capital T, capital M, capital R, and that would mean the T in Voldemort would be capitalized, the R in either Lord or Voldemort, I don't know which one it would use, it would be capitalized. And so I chose to make all of the letters not capitalized. Now I could go ahead and capitalize one. If I wanted to capitalize these, then all it will do is take the I, L, and V from the previous slide. It'll fade those out and fade them in. So when I look at that, you can see it's still an interesting effect. Some of the characters just disappear while others appear and they rearrange. So it's up to you if you want that. But I'm more interested in having the letters morph seamlessly. One other thing I could do though is I can highlight this text and I can change the font to something a little bit more creative. Perhaps something like this and I can bump up the font just a little bit. I did change the color. I changed the position. Now I changed the font family. So you can take a look at what that effect is. And so that's how you can morph between characters and you can morph words, change the words in different places on the document. And you have a lot of options such as changing font colors, placement, even the font body. So be creative with this.